Hi, it's Cindy Royal again with the web design class, and in this video I'm going to talk about your options for publishing to the web using FTP or File Transfer Protocol. The program that we have on the computers in the labs is called Fetch, and it's very easy to use. You can actually get a copy of Fetch on your own computer. It only works on the Mac, but if you have a Mac you can download Fetch from the Technology Resources website for Texas State for the software downloads, and you can grab that. There's a program called FileZilla that uh, Texas State has available for Windows computers, for PCs, so you might want to try to download that if you want what is called a FTP client. And like I said, it's very easy to use. You will get a host name when you sign up with Bluehost your own domain, so I'll type in my domain, and you'll need to remember the username and password that you set up for this. So mine is Cindy Roy, and I'll type in my password that goes with this account. You'll be doing this a lot throughout the semester, so make sure that you remember your username and password. And when you first come into your account, you are going to encounter the root directory, which is just this slash. And in most websites, there is a public HTML directory that things are actually published in. So in this case, I'm just going to switch by date because I know I've published to it recently. You won't have as many files as I do when you first start. And here's the public HTML directory. So I'll double click on that. Make sure you're in public HTML if you want files to be published publicly. Uh, this folder will not show up in the URL, but it's just a way for you to have a segment of your website that has public files, and then another segment of your website to maybe save things privately. It's the cloud, and it allows you basically just to save files. So when you get here, you are able to publish your files to this folder. And so when you want to put something on your main domain, you would just say put, very simple, choose put, and then you would find the files that you're working on, my website, and select the files that you want to upload. And you'll need to select all the files that are associated with your site, including any images or any other files that you've created associated with it, CSS, HTML. And I'm not going to put these because I don't want to overwrite things on my site, but you'll say put, and then the file uh, program, the FTP program will run. you will see a little dog running, and when the dog is finished running, your files will be published to the website, and then you can go to the browser and check at the domain where that's located. So in this case, I would go to cindyroyal.com and make sure the new index page got uploaded as well as the new image. Um, if in future portions of the class for future projects, you will need to create new folders. And it's just like doing it on a flash drive. You would create a new folder, and I'll just call it new web. And that folder gets created now, and then just make sure you double click to go into it if you want to publish things in that folder. And you would just say put, find the files again, and put them into that folder. And then the URL for this would be cindyroyal.com slash new web. It, um, it would include the folder name. And if you ever need to delete anything, like I don't really need this new web folder, there's a big delete button over here, so you can always delete files that you don't need or folders. And sometimes you need to get things from the web. Maybe you have it up on the web and you want to use FTP to get it. Um, you can get it right from a browser usually, but there might be a reason why you want to get multiple files at one time. And get is pretty easy. I can just click on the file and say get. And I have it set up in the preferences so that it will ask me where I want to download it to. And so again, it's just the other direction from put. It, files, it finds files on the web and brings them down to your computer. So it'll save them. The thing that you want to change there is in the fetch preferences before you do any gets under download. I like to say ask me every time where it wants to download the file so it doesn't automatically put it on the desktop or in downloads and overwrite files with conflicting names. So that's it. Now if you don't want to use fetch or you don't feel like downloading it or you don't like fetch, there are some other options that you can use. First of all, your Bluehost account has a file management program. So if you log into Bluehost and go to the cPanel, cPanel, you'll see a section here called file manager. You just click on the file manager and go into it. 
and you'll see everything that's on your website. This is stuff on the web. You'll see public HTML and any folders that you have. And you can go into those folders or you can publish right to public HTML. And you just click on the upload button and it brings this dialog box that lets you choose the files that you want to upload. This is, uh, it, it does it one at a time. Um, you wanna make sure you check overwrite existing files. If you do want it to overwrite any existing files, maybe you're replacing a file with a new file. It's a little time consuming because you can only do so many files at a time, but this is a really great tool to use in a pinch if you are somewhere and you don't have access to an FTP program, but you know you want to change something right away. You can do that right from the web. And another program that I like to use is in the Firefox browser. I haven't actually found an extension that does FTP for Chrome that I've tried, although I'm looking and I may have some suggestions for that. But within Firefox, there's a program called Fire FTP. And if you install that, you can go to Google and just Google Fire FTP, and you can install that on your computer. And when you use it, you go, when you install it, after you install it, you go to Web Developer, and it'll show up down here, and you click on Fire FTP. And this will have the items that are in your computer on the left hand side. And then you can set up an account here. I already have one for my site, but you can create a new account, which looks a little bit like Fetch, where you put your host name, your username, and your password. And then you hit connect when you have that one set up, and it's going to connect you with what's on your website over here, so that you can actually come in here and you can load things up here, or you can find the, the public HTML and go into that, um, you can find another folder. And the put and the get are actually these arrow buttons. So if I wanted to take something from my documents, maybe this, uh, my, my website is what we've been working with. Here's my website. I pick the file that I want to send over and then I'd hit the arrow button that would send it over to the public HTML. Just pay attention to what you have up here and what you've selected and where you're sending it, what you have up here. Make sure you're sending it to the right place. One thing to be aware of, though, is make sure you are able to install the proper version of Fire FTP for the version of Firefox that you're using. When I went to install the current one, it told me it wasn't available for the Firefox that I have, which is the current version for the Mac. So I did a little Googling, and I found that I could go to this versions URL for Firefox, and I found the earlier version that allowed me to be able to install that for um for my version of Firefox. So just something to be careful, the versions will probably catch up before long. So those are three options that you can use to publish files to the web.